All right, so we're gonna work on some time again today. Remember, this is called an analog clock. And when you see a time written like this, this is called a digital clock, like on the oven or the microwave. These are usually on the wall, hanging on a wall somewhere, or on a watch too. You can also have a watch that's a digital time. So we've got two hands, right? We've got the minute hand, we've got the hour hand. The minute hand is long, the hour hand is short. When the minute hand is pointing at the 12, the hour hand tells us the time. So it's gonna be three, and then we say o'clock when it's painting at the, pointing at the 12. If I were to turn our time, now it would be four o'clock, right? Now it would be five o'clock, right? It's pointing at the 12. And to write o'clock, let's say we were gonna write three o'clock. We were gonna write it digitally. So we would write three, and then we'd have two little dots, and zero, zero means o'clock. So that's what we're gonna be practicing today, again, in our math book. Get your pencil ready. And we are going to trace the shorthand, which is the hour hand on each clock. So this one's pointing at the two, so this is telling me that it's two o'clock. So I'm gonna show my two, and then I've got my two dots are already there, and then I'm gonna put zero, zero to show o'clock, all right? The next one, the hour hand is pointing at the four. This is telling me it's four, excuse me, four o'clock. So I'm gonna draw my four, and then I'm gonna draw my o'clock, zero, zero. The next one, it's pointing at the five. So this is telling me it is five o'clock. And last one is pointing at the eight. So this is telling me it's eight o'clock. Remember in eight, we make an S, see that? And then we connect it back, o'clock. Easy peasy, so we wrote two o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, eight o'clock. We've, we're showing the time as an analog clock, which is a circle clock. We're showing the time as a digital clock. All right, we're gonna practice eights today. Flip your page. So eight rhyme goes, make an S and go back home. So we start at the dot. We're gonna make an S and then we're gonna go back home, back to the dot, right? So look at this one. We go this way, like an S. See how it's an S? And then we connect it back. Make an S and go back home. Make an S and go back home. Make an S and go back home. That's how we write the number eight. Cool. Hopefully, it's not too tricky. Hopefully if there's a grown up sitting by you or close to you and you're having trouble, they can show you how to do an S, right? And then how to go back home. It's hard for me to show you when I'm not with you. So we make an S and we go back home. Try some by yourself at the bottom. Make an S and go back home. Make an S and go back home. And then we're gonna color eight triangles. I'm gonna count them first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But we only wanna color eight of them. So we've got one, two, Three, you have to count as you're going. Four. Five. Morning. Six. Almost. 
seven and eight. That means you're coloring all of them, but not the last one because that would make number nine. Press pause if you need to finish.